Dear Kaders, Assalamu Alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are well, safe and sound with your family at your respective houses. We all know that we are facing a tough situation during this corona pandemic. We are hopeful that this will be over very soon. I'd like to welcome you to my today's session. But before going to the session, just to remind you what to do and what not to do. You must wash your hands regularly. You must use handkerchief, tissue, towel, or anything while sneezing or coughing. And of course, you must be wearing masks whenever we go out we should not neglect if we have any sort of temperature rise in our body we should not shake hands or we should maintain social distancing and we should be away from wild birds and animals you know me by now i am your bulbulgaji sir lecturer in english Purushal cadet college while preparing this lesson for you, I consulted these books, English for Today, for class seven, prescribed by National Curriculum and Textbook Board, Oxford English Grammar, Intermediate English Grammar, and Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary. This is your English first paper class, and uh, Today's unit in games and sports, unit seven. And I try, I have tried to cover unit lesson one, two, and three. What can you understand from this picture? Yes, this session is going to be about games and sports. After this lesson, you will be able to listen, read, understand, and enjoy stories and other text materials ask and answer questions, write short paragraphs, in formal letters, write answers to questions. Before that, we're going, before moving into the main text, we're going to learn some new vocabularies. Our first vocabulary is striker, which is a noun, and it's most of the time countable noun. And UK pronunciation is striker and US pronunciation is also striker. It means a player in a game such as football whose main purpose is to try to score goals rather than to prevent the opposing team from scoring. So let's have an example. The 24 year old striker scored 35 goals for his club last season. So there's the striker. Our next word is practice, which is a verb, and UK, it's UK pronunciation is, you know, there is a confusion, practice or practice. This is British, and US is practice with a C. The pronunciation is more or less same, practice. It means to do or play something regularly or repeatedly in order to become skilled at it. I'm good at tennis, but I need to practice my serve. She practices the violin every day. So this is all about practice. Next word is opportunity. UK, it's a noun and it's UK pronunciation is opportunity. US pronunciation is also opportunity, opportunity and it can be both countable or uncountable it's meaning an occasion or situation that makes it possible to do something that you want to do or have to do or the possibility of doing something let's have an example i was never given the opportunity of going to college our next word is athlete Dear careers, I'd like you to pay attention here. This is an interesting word. When you, it's a singular noun, it's 
athlete okay look at the pronunciation athlete here you have e sound here in both us and american you have the e sound long e so it's not athlete it's athlete i'm saying again it's athlete okay a person who is very good at sports or physical exercise especially one who competes in organized events he became a professional athlete at the age of 16 now we're going moving into the text every thursday afternoon ashish bishash plays football he is a striker he plays for the local friends club do you want to know what else he does on other days this is what Ashish says. Friday and Saturday are my weekends. On Friday, I go to my village home. Going home is really a wonderful experience. My mother waits for me there. In the afternoon, I go cycling with my friends. Sometimes I go for a long walk. Next day, I get up a little late. In the afternoon, I play cavity. In fact, I was a cavity player during my school days. From Sunday to Thursday, I go to the club at seven o'clock in the morning. It's time for our regular practice, so I have to get up by six o'clock. Usually, on Monday afternoon, the team doctor sees all the players. On Tuesday, our coach shows us videos of important matches. We learn a lot from them. On Thursday, when we practice, our team manager watches our performance and keeps a record of that. Then he selects the team for the day. In the afternoon, I go to the club at one o'clock. I spend some time with my teammates. At four o'clock, our match begins. We regularly play with their local teams. Dear carriers, I'd like you to read the passage from your textbook once again. Now, we're going to talk about some expressions. He plays for the local friends club. You see, plays for the local friends club. That's why when you are playing, in favor of a club, we use this expression, plays for, Messi plays for Barcelona, Ronaldo plays for Juventus. So this is the expression you may try apply in your day-to-day -day life. Another expression, in the afternoon, I go cycling with my friends. I go cycling, so you see, it's not I go to cycling or I go for cycling. The simple expression is I go cycling. You can use I go swimming, I go hunting, I go fishing. So this is the expression mainly I want you to focus. So in the afternoon, I go cycling with my friends. Now, usually on Monday afternoon, the team doctor sees all the players. You see, there are several points to notice, usually on Monday afternoon. So, you see, the team doctor sees all the players. This is the present tense, the structure is simple. Present tense is the regular incident, regular event, and it happens specifically on Monday afternoon. So that's the expression. Now, we, we, I would like you to practice some true and false. So our the first statement is, Ashish is an attacking midfielder. What do you think this one is true or false? From Sunday to Thursday, Ashish goes to the club at 7 a.m. This is true or false? On Saturdays, Ashish wake up early in the morning. Records of everyday practices are kept on a regular basis. Ashish regularly plays with nearby teams. 
So if we look at the first statement, Ashish is an attacking midfielder, which is not true. It's a false statement. And the true one is Ashish is an is a striker. From Sunday to Thursday, Ashish goes to the club at 7 a.m. It's true. One Saturday, Ashish wake up, wakes up early in the morning. No, it's a false statement because Saturday is his weekend and he wakes up late. Records of everyday practice are kept on a regular basis. It, it is also true. Ashish regularly plays with the nearby teams. It is also true. So this is the way we practice true and false. Now here, you have to use the right form of verbs. So does Arun do these things? This is from lesson two, complete the sentences example. He gets up at six o'clock, he doesn't practice on Fridays. Now, he gets up at four o'clock, he goes to school by bus, he jogs in the morning, he wants to be a national cricketer, he practices every day, he misses his practice, or he does not miss his practice, he comes back home at six in the afternoon. He spends little time watching TV. He studies until 10 in the evening. He watches talk shows. Now, from these statements, we, we have done it. What do you do at your home? You match whether this statement is positive or negative based on your reading, unit seven, lesson two. Now, dear kids, we would like to do some close test with clues. Ashish and Arun are two players. I know them. You know, I have told you in my earlier test class that while doing this exercise, you first go for the word given in the box. So here are the words that's given in the box, like practices, flows, opportunities, and long. Ashish and Arun are two friends. I know them for a, you see from there we can see it should be long time. They are both very close to my family. Ashish is from a village. Arun lives in a small town. Ashish plays football, he doesn't play tennis. Arun practices cricket, but he loves athletics as well. Arun goes to a local school. He has opportunities to practice in his school compound. Arun practices in his club field. Ashish has one brother, his name is Abir, and he is a weightlifter. Arun has no brother, he has a sister. Her name is Apala. She doesn't like cricket. She is a swimmer. So that's it. This is the way you do close test with clues. Now, dear cadets, this is your homework at home. You see, what's your favorite sports? You may write some sentences on the basis of your knowledge, on the basis of expressions you have learned in this in it in this session. What's your favorite team? Who is the captain? Who is your favorite player? How often do you go to the stadium and most sports, sports programs? Now, dear cadets, if you have any question, please call me at my number or you can uh, ask me through the comment box or Facebook or Viber if you want. Now, dear kids, you know, the winter is coming. And it is already at our door. And the whole world, we are trembling. We are afraid how much damage this winter may cause to us. Because when 
corona attacked us for the first time it was not winter so the weather was in our favor now the weather is quite favorable to corona itself so we have to be very very cautious we have to stay home we have to uh, follow the norms of social distancing we have to wash our hands regularly here carriers you know the whole world has yet to produce any effective vaccine so the only remedy we can do for ourselves is staying home so stay home stay safe and prepare for the next exam i hope you are going to do very well in the exam till then allah hafiz thank you